All right. What is your future spouse going to do when y'all get married? Can y'all hear me? I hope y'all can hear me. Yeah, y'all can hear me. What is your future spouse going to do when y'all get married? What's something that you don't expect is going to happen? Should I make it a general? Hmm? I heard he's a general. <laughs> Did I make it a general? I heard she's a sergeant. I heard she's of status. She's of status. I heard, I heard, I heard she's a, she's a, she's of, of many companies. She's of many companies. All right, for some of you guys, your future partner, we gonna just make it general, okay? Some of you guys, your, your future partner, whether it's a man or a woman, okay? Y'all put it where it follows, okay? Some of y'all are gonna get tied up with a baby. Like, like your future spouse is, like, they're gonna marry you, but at the same time, they're gonna wanna make sure they have this baby. Like, they're gonna make sure we locked in. We locked in. You ain't leaving me now. There ain't no, <laughs> there, ain't no there ain't no divorce happening, whether you're gonna do it or they're gonna do it. Man or woman, whoever you are, whatever side or partner, um, you guys are going to be locked in with a child. And like, there's some times where your wifey's going to come, you're going to come home to your wifey and she's just going to be sitting there with her thang thangs out. Like she going to be ready. Like, okay, this is done. This is done. Everything is done. Boo boo. The kids are sleeping. Um, you came home late today. So you know what time it is. <laughs> you going to have to sit, you going to have to sit down like, Sit down and take off your stuff. You ain't gonna have to, you, you could be coming home hungry and you ain't gonna have time to eat, okay? Cause she gonna be like, get your butt on the bed. Like, nah. She's like, okay, you know what? And then there's some of them that are gonna be like, okay, I got dinner for you right here in the bedroom. Eat because I'll be waiting. Like you won't even have time to like turn on the TV and stuff, no. Right, look at that. There's a man coming down, down, down down the pathway right now it's like right you're gonna be coming home and it's like she was just gonna be ready with her legs wide open ready for you <laughs> i'm getting she gonna be in lingerie too and if this is a woman listening your husband's gonna hug you oh my gosh i could feel it okay your husband's gonna wrap his his arms around your the upper your upper shoulders and you're gonna wrap your hands around his lower waist and this hug every time he gives you this hug you're just gonna feel like a I don't know you're gonna feel like a I don't know you're gonna feel like as soft as like you're gonna feel as soft as a nice pillow you're gonna feel soft as like an angel I don't know what soft as an angel is like but like you're just gonna feel you're gonna feel loved you're gonna be feel safe you're gonna feel reassured you're gonna feel like a soft a soft breeze you know I'm some I'm sorry but for some of you your husband is not playing with you okay your husband is going to tie you he's going to tie you up and I don't mean tie you up in the bedroom I mean like he's gonna be manifesting a lot of stuff for you guys true word my phone just my my watch just went off he's gonna be manifesting a lot of stuff especially if you decide to like oh i'm going camping with the girls oh we're going to brazil this weekend oh i'm doing this oh i'm at work if you don't do <laughs> what your husband wants you to do he is most definitely gonna manifest your behind okay he's gonna make sure no my wife needs to be home at seven o'clock i don't understand why she's not home it's been seven days what's happening every night she has to be working late what is this you know and he's gonna be like i'm, I'm getting like he's gonna be in the kitchen like this is the this is the second day i'm having to make dinner like and it won't be like he's making it because like he knows you're working hard. Maybe you're working on a project. Maybe you have to stay home late. Maybe you're taking a class or a course or you are just traveling with your girls. It is going to annoy him that he has to make dinner for like two nights in a row. And when he's going to be making this dinner, <laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. When he's going to be making this dinner, especially if you guys have kids. Okay. I'm seeing like, he's going to be so focused on the fact that you haven't been home 
two nights early because probably you're coming home and you're beat, right? So you're 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 tired. You're gonna go straight to bed. But I'm seeing like your husband's gonna be like chopping with knives. Like let's say he's like about to do like a stir fry, and he's thinking this is gonna be nice, cool. I'm gonna just do a quick stir fry. She's gonna love it. She loves my stir fry. So um, he's chopping up the vegetables. This is what I'm seeing, guys. He's chopping up the vegetables, and then. Let's say he puts in like chicken nuggets and french fries for the kids. All of a sudden, his like fine way of dining has just been ruined because he burnt the children's chicken nuggets and french fries. And now he has to give the kids the stir fry. So when you come home and you're like, baby, did you make me something? He's cheese. <laughs> because he was so mad at you that like, I, like, okay, in my culture, you say the crosses came, right? So like he was so mad that you came home late two three nights in a row so he ended up burning the kids food and the romantic dinner he had planned for you guys to have late is not gonna happen because he had to give them the food oh my god that's hilarious i don't know why i just saw that okay another thing is if you have a very spiritual wise man this man will go to somebody or he will be the a magician and he will manifest you like you're his wifey it doesn't matter he will manifest you to make sure that you are home to, to to get it going on like he will make sure that you're ready and horny that night i don't know what he's gonna do but he's gonna build some sort of concoction manifest you study you like i don't know he's just maybe you're gonna teach him something but he's gonna be so wise enough to know like you know what if I do this and I do this and I do this and I do this a I don't know like you know i don't know what he's gonna do he's gonna concoct something right if I set the mood right, I'm going to make sure that when she comes home, she knows it's game time, okay? I'm also getting, like, your future husband is is going to piss off a lot of people. Your future husband is going to piss off a lot of people. Your future wife is going to piss off a lot of people that were previously interested in you or them or vice versa. Because it's like, how come they couldn't get you? How come whatever love bombing whatever love words that they gave this person or you or your person it's like how come it didn't work so you guys i could say most of you guys who are listening are gonna piss off people who you end up with as your life partner okay and they don't end up have to having to be your wife or your husband but why is my phone why does it look like my phone's glitchy all right so yeah is it just me i swear it was glitchy okay but like you guys are going to piss up piss off the other people because they wanted you okay your husband or your wife is going to take a flock of your hair yeah they're going to take some of it or like they're just going to like i don't know like i'm getting smelling the pillows behind your back like this is when you're away from them right when you're away from your partner and you guys like they're going to miss the 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 scent the scent of you the smell of you the essence of you you know i don't know maybe you pick your nose excuse me maybe you like have a like a bonnet you wear at night a hat you wear at night or fuzzy slippers it's like when you're gone your person's gonna be in those dirty slippers that you haven't washed for three days because it still has your energy when you're gone your wifey is going to be in your jacket or sweater before they go to bed they will never admit this to you this is something they're gonna do like you know like i said this what are you not gonna expect this is not something you're gonna be expecting if you were to ever come home after a week's vacation you'll be surprised that your husband or wife has the, all your stuff on the bed <laughs> like they're sleeping with your toys <laughs> and i'm talking like they're sleeping with the clipboard that you write on they're sleeping with the jacket you love to wear to go to the sports game <laughs> okay um you something that you're not going to foresee when you get married from your future house or uh, husband or wife or partner is that you guys are going to make love a lot oh some of you guys could like white sheets red sheets you guys are going to make a lot of love under white and red sheets and that your person will one day no matter even if you guys are married they're going to still want to be freaky like they're they're going to want to have sex outside Okay, when you get married to this person or end up with this long-term partner, something that you're not going to see is also the fact that they're not going to want to see you cry. They're not going to want to see you cry. They're not going to want to see you choked up over nothing. And like, I mean, family situations happen. People die, people pass away, you know, like you lose a job. There's some things like they're not going to want to see you depressed. They're not going to want to see you sad. They're not going to want to see you mopey. 
You know, they're not. They're just not. They're just not. Yeah. You might you might have something in your life that happens, right? And sometimes it might just be moving from like moving on from like lack mindset or like your family pisses you off and you come home pissed off crying. Like your person's not gonna want that. Your person's gonna be like, baby, let's just make love and like get over your mom's for like, you know, doing what she did at the party and get over your sister for yelling and screaming at you. Like they're not gonna want like their energy is going to be super low if when you go to a family function and you come home pissed off. Even if they were there and they saw that it went down and it was really retarded. They're just going to be like, let me, let me F-U-C-K it out of you. Okay? <laughs> They're also going to want you guys to be on the same page when you guys are going places. So if you guys are going to a different country or a party, they're going to want to know like that you're happy that you're on the same page. They're going to want to know that like you guys are in sync on what time to leave. You guys are in sync on how long we're staying. Like they don't want you to be moody at the party. They want to chop it up with their boys till like 11 o'clock at night and you want to go home at 930. So if that's the case, then make sure you guys take two cars because you already know that your husband likes to hang out at this particular house with these particular set of friends and the vice versa. If he is coming to your girls, make sure he takes his car and brings his car. Don't try to be all happy, happy. We're taking one car. And then, you know, in you guys are having an argument about like wanting to go home and it's like making things awkward. No, when your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or wifey wants to leave and you guys are not on the same page about the person where you guys are attending, that's when you got to make sure you take in two cars, okay? Because you don't want to, you don't want the, all the force, the four horsemen to come out, okay? What are you not going to see? Oh, some of you guys are going to be bedroom bullies towards one another. Some of you guys are going to have a lot of great sex on vacation. Maybe that's because you guys are going to feel free. You guys are going to feel wonderful about each other. You guys are just going to enjoy the sun, you, like, you know, being on vacation, like that that type of level of sex that you guys are gonna have is gonna be out of this world like it's gonna be real good i'm also getting a lot of kitchen sex okay right kitchen sex kitchen flirting and stuff it's gonna be nice for you guys um you guys might go on picnics okay the love making sceneries are gonna be completely different from what you expect okay and look this message is not for everybody but I mean, if you got a vast imagination, I'm sure you can manifest either it being by a lake, <laughs> in the kitchen, <laughs> or on vacation, right? That could be three different people, or it could be just one person that's going to have all these opportunities to make love everywhere. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. And the living room is going to be on and popping. Woo! When the kids go to sleep, boy. <laughs> and the babysitter put the kids to bed, boy. <laughs> That living room is going to be a game on. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Um. <laughs> I'm also getting like when you get to husband and wife status, you're not really using condoms, but I'm getting like there's going to come a time where you guys could have like, say, two, three kids and you're like, OK, we're not having kids, but maybe you don't like have a day after pill or anything so then your wife or your husband's gonna be like yo we need condoms bro like we need condoms or your wife's gonna be like where's the condom you're like why you want to sleep with condoms we haven't been sleeping with condoms yeah but we talked about this we don't want to get pregnant right now because we don't got the funds for more kids <laughs> oh my god i should stop i should really stop <laughs> Okay, oh, something that you're also not going to see, there's going to be another, okay, I'm getting an ex, a baby father, an ex-wife, an ex-girlfriend, oh my gosh, they are going to be so mad that you guys are sleeping together, so, so mad, or, yeah, I'm just getting that, I was just, okay, it's like, this ex, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Holy Spirit, lead me to, to say the right words. This ex is going to come in and be like, oh my God, you know what? I'm tired of this. I really want my ex back. And they're not going to be able to like prevent their rage. It's like maybe I think they're going to be drunk or it's like they're going to see them somewhere. And they're just going to like, I don't know, kiss teeth. 
maybe you guys go to somewhere. Maybe you guys go somewhere and an ex shows up and it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be like, yo, <laughs> it's gonna be like, hello. <laughs> I really wanna talk to my ex, but my ex has his wife or my ex has his girl or my ex has his husband right there and I can't say what I really wanna say, but this person's gonna be ignorant. This person's gonna purposely like, let's say you guys go to Canada's Wonderland, okay? For those of you who don't live in Canada's Wonderland, imagine a theme park. And you buck up on an ex, you meet up on an ex, and this ex is gonna like follow you guys the whole day while you're at the amusement park. Just to be able to talk to your partner. And y'all could be engaged then, y'all could be married then, it doesn't matter. It's like this ex is gonna make sure that that amusement park day that's supposed to be wonderful will turn to shittas, okay? It will turn into crap, okay? Because here you are thinking, yes, I'm gonna have a beautiful date with my, my boo thing, my husband, my girl, my man. And little do you know, there's like this, you know, I don't know. I'm getting like bottom feeder, walking around the, the amusement park, looking at how wonderful you guys' life is. And then you're going to go home that night and have to be saging out these hoes. <laughs> saging out everybody. <laughs> you're going to be praying like, God, why didn't I pray before I left to the, go to this function? I was way too happy. I was trying to get the kids all together. I was trying to get to make sure I had enough water bottles for the day and fruit so we, could, we wouldn't have to buy McDonald's. And meanwhile, you should have been really praying about the bottom feeder that's going to come and disrupt your trip. You know what I'm saying? And the wind just blew as I said that. I don't know why my energies just woo, just got real high just now. But I'll tell you this much. If there are going to be incidents of jealousy, you are 99. There's a 99% chance that your partner is just going to woe you over in the middle of the night to be like, babes, like, it's just me and you. It's not it's not everybody else. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. And your husband or your girlfriend is going to want to do it at, um, I'm getting like, like I'm getting like if there's a downstairs or a cabin tree or a or like a brick wall area. I'm getting brick walls, big brick walls, like um like like a dungeon type of area, okay? Oh my gosh, let's not go into that energy. Anyways, the point is a wine cellar. That's what I wanted to say. If somebody has a wine cellar downstairs in their basement backyard somewhere, okay, that type of atmosphere, picture that. We see in the movie sometimes those secret little you know, places, it's like your partner is going to want to do it there because it's going to be so quiet, secluded, and like unusual place to have sex. Okay? Your person is also going to admire you when you are away. They are going to, they are going to look at pictures of you when you are away from them. They're going to think about you when they're mad at you. Even if you guys like, you know, get into arguments, your person is definitely going to be there to, um, you know sit and like like your person is not going to run away from the house that's what i'm getting your person is not going to leave the house your person's going to sit at home and be like why is she mad why is he mad oh i wish he would just come back and we would make up like you know i could be sharing my orange with my woman right now i don't know why she got to think like that i wasn't trying to say that oh maybe i should have said something else you know, I, I probably shouldn't have stepped on that side. You know, I should be more compromising. It's like they're going to do a lot of reflecting or even you. Okay. The love is going to be really good. Okay. And if you guys, if you guys even talk about like, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to judge. If you talk about inviting other people into the bedroom, it won't really work out because y'all will be so in tune with each other and in love with each other that like the person would be coming just to waste time like because your energy doesn't amplify hallelujah your energy with this person is not going to amplify with a third party like so this is why it's very important if you do decide to go down that path understand what you're doing because it's it, it's sometimes it's not destined for you to do that this is the illusion that we should sleep with a you know 20 other people in one session but whatever to each his own i'm not hating it is what it is i'm just gonna tell you the truth that if you decide to invite another person into the mix it it better be god <laughs> that's, that's what i heard it better be an angel from the heavens you know what i'm saying who is coming to bless y'all union and make sure y'all boogie down real good your partner is going to also love the changes of your hair the the colors in which you do the length in which you wear it when it's up, when it's down, when it's black, when it's brown. Uh, now I'm rhyming. 
They're really going to like when you have updos. And they're really going to like your wedding night, your vacation night. They're really going to like when you um, wear necklaces. Um, they're really going to like you with your shirt off. Okay? If you've been working on your abs, they're going to really... They're really going to like that you're taking the effort to do that in your relationship to like continuously looking sexy for each other, right? Um, you guys both are going to love to see the neighbors, like love to make the neighbors or other people watch y'all get boogie boogie, okay? So if you guys decide to do it in the park one day, it's almost like it's going to give you guys both an adrenaline rush, okay? Last but not least, y'all are really going to like putting on a show, like... You guys are gonna flirt in front of people intentionally sometimes knowing that people are watching you guys flirt, okay? And this is gonna happen throughout your marriage and um, I'm getting like someone's gonna like being in your bosom. Yeah, someone's gonna like being between your breasts, putting their face in their breasts like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I need to stop, man. This is hilarious. Your person is also gonna enjoy your intimate moments of conversation of just chilling like as though if you guys were in an Aladdin movie and you guys were just on these like beautiful pillows, you know, the the Sahara Desert and you're just enjoying each other's company but naked. Y'all don't even have to be having sex. Y'all could have just took a shower together and wanted to have sex and it never happened. So you guys ended up talking and eating and relaxing and enjoying each other and, you know, um, a lot of foreplay. I'm also getting that I'm also getting like your partner's gonna like cuddling especially with the legs your legs on theirs their legs on yours you you they're gonna they're gonna enjoy uh, body to body body to body they're gonna enjoy body to body is there anything else Holy Spirit tell me more about this wild messages that are coming out <laughs> body to body body to body body to body there might be a lot of morning appetite for you know the freaky deaky stuff you guys will both miss each other like i said you guys will think about each other when each other is away from each other especially in the beginning of the marriage and later on in the marriage um like if you guys have some issues later on you guys will think about each other like let's say in the marriage you guys like go through a period where it's like you guys are not sleeping with each other it's like you or your partner is going to be like, where has the flame gone? Like, I need to light back the flame in this. Like, God, give me a boost. Because I won't lie. Like, marriages do go through that, right? They're not all perfect. And I'm not here to fabricate the story for you or give you a, an inspirational porno. But I will tell you this much. If you truly love the person that you're with, you will make sure that the fire stays lit by any means necessary you will go out of your way to ensure that that is available to you and your partner and that the friskiness never stops right but a lot of us we like to pretend right we like to pretend we like to pretend we like to pretend so let's see can i get one last card what's gonna happen that I don't know, they don't know, we don't know when we find our partner. Let's see. <laughs> I'm still getting, I'm still getting the... <laughs> Some of you guys are really, really, really going to be waiting for your partner. Whether man or woman, when they come home, ready to do the dirty. Like, it's like, hello, it's Tuesday. And Tuesday, we're supposed to get busy. And then it's like Wednesday, we do floor, foreplay. Thursday, we go out for burgers. It's like your partner is going to be really enthusiastic about you. And it's not to say it's all going to be about sex, but they're going to just love coming home. They're going to love seeing you please yourself. They're going to love seeing you happy up yourself. They're going to love cuddling with you and spending undivided attention just conversing and caressing your body. All right, we chopping it up right there. We out.